the cables in the previous class we started understanding about cables and suspension bridges this is a deck slab for this deck slab the suspenders are provided these suspenders uh, these suspenders uh, they are connected with a cable now the central one we are calling it as dip and here the supporting system will be either pulley type or saddle type and this suspension cable will be connected to anchor cable and at the end this anchor cable will be anchorized now we have seen that the components of the suspension bridge are cable suspenders taking supporting tower anchorage so this is the image of laknavaram lake now we have seen a problem also uh, we have seen what is the length of a car length of a cable and we also observed uh, if this problem is there just see this problem a cable is used to support five equal and equidistant loads over a span of 30 meters so for this problem we calculated what is the overall length of the cable as well as what is the cross sectional area if the cable has a tensile stress of 140 newton per mm square now i will give you another problem similar to this one now we will try to solve that not on the problem a cable is used a cable is used to support six equal and equidistant loads over a span of 14 meters the central dip of the cable is One point six meters, and the loads are of magnitude twenty kilonewtons. Calculate. The tension in the cable. Segments the length of the cable cross sectional area of the cable required if the maximum stress in the cable if the maximum stress in the cable is not to exceed 150 MPa so this is the problem In the previous problem, five equal and equidistance were there over a span of uh, uh, 30 meters, I think. Now this is uh, 14 meters and they are equidistance uh, over a span of uh, 
14 meters, the central tip of the cable is 1.6 meters, and the loads are of magnitude 20 kN. Calculate the tension in the cable segments. In each cable, what is the what is the uh, tension that we need to calculate? So let me draw first of all a diagram of this. Something like this is a fourteen meter span. This is A, this is B, and this value is PA, this value is BB, now six equidistant cables they are acting, so you will be having Total seven parts will be there. Total seven parts will be there. How it is, I'm drawing that? Just see. This is one, two, three. This I will draw. You please. Uh, so, what is the shape of this? When a point loads are acting like this, what is the shape of the cable profile? Funicular polygon. Funicular polygon shape. Like this. So there are six loads are there, 20 kilonewton, 20 kilonewton, 20 kilonewton load is there. This is horizontal. 20 kN, 20 kN, 20 kN. So, total how many spans are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this will be divided by 14 by 7 by 2. So 14 by 7, 2 meters. So each will be having a distance of 2 meters. Now here, just imagine there are six cables are there and uh, these sorry six loads are there at center one it will be horizontal so this dip is nothing but uh, what is the dip here this dip is one point six meters Now, we have to calculate the reaction forces here. We need to calculate the reaction forces. So calculate the reaction forces. Before calculating, this is C, D, E, F, Z, H. Now here. This is also 1.6 only when you the cable is uh, that is the cable here it is horizontal here also it is 1.6 and this is by F this is by E what is this one this is by D this is by C by G by H now here 
horizontal force reaction is there H. Here also horizontal reaction is there H. Now sigma F y is equal to zero. Sigma F y is nothing but V A plus V B minus six into twenty. There are six loads are there. Six into twenty is equal to zero. Six into twenty is equal to zero. So now the value V A plus V B is equal to one twenty kilonewtons, and this is symmetrical. The loads are symmetrical. V A will be sixty kilonewton. V B will also be sixty kilonewtons. V B will also be sixty kilonewtons. Now, I want H A value. We know that at any point, if you consider either G e or F or G or H, wherever you consider the on the cable, the bending point is equal to zero. As the cable is flexible, the cable can take only tension forces. It can't take any bending moment. So sigma m about E is equal to zero. You may ask me one doubt: Why can't we take center point? Yes, definitely. You can also take center point. Also, both will be the same. Whether you take moment at E at this point or at F, the moment is the same. So draw the free body diagram. So you are considering moment about E is equal to zero. So the free body diagram will be. So this is twenty kilonewton. Point is D. This is twenty kilonewton. Point is C. So this is H is there. A force of sixty kilonewton is acting here, which is V A. So this is point E, which is twenty kilonewton. That is E. And this value is Y E. This value is Y D. This is Y C. But this is two meters, two meters, two meters. So sigma m about E is equal to zero. We are taking moment about this point. V A into six minus H into one point six. Minus twenty into four, minus twenty into two is equal to zero. You know the value of V A, which is sixty. Tell me the value of H. What is the value of H? One fifty, sir. H is equal to one fifty kilometers. Right. H is one fifty kilometers. Now, we require what is the value of Y C? What is the value of Y D? All the points have to be considered. So to get Y C, now write down here. I am writing. Consider F B D. It is consider a section, not F B D. Consider a section at C. So when you consider a section at C, this is your point. Twenty kilometer downward. This is uh, a force of H. A force of sixty kilonewtons. 
2 meters and this value is yc taking moment above c is equal to 0 plus 60 into 2 minus h into yc is equal to 0 minus h into yc is equal to 0 so yc is 120 by 150 which is 0.8 meters so yc is equal to 0.8 meters now you call it as this is a this is c you got yc as 0.8 meters length of ac is equal to square root of 2 square plus 0.8 square which is yc whole square so just to make a make a value length of ac is equal to what is the length 2.15 2.15 is it correct yes sir, yes, sir. So 2.15 meters is the length of AC. Now, what is the angle made by this one? Something if I call it as theta, what is the angle made by this one? You know tan theta, tan theta is equal to YC by 2. That implies theta is equal to tan inverse of 0.8 by 2. 21 degrees. Got that 21 degrees exact, huh? Yeah, it's at 21 point. 21 point? Right. Sir. No. Theta is equal to the inverse of 0.8 by 2. Now, FBD at A. FBD means free body diagram for this portion. A horizontal force of H is acting, which is what 150 kilonewtons. H is equal to 150 kilonewtons. 60 kilonewtons is VB or VA. Now, attention, this is point A. Attention force is there. So, you are considering free body diagram here. Attention will be in this direction. From here, the tension will be in this direction. So, tension will be in this direction. which is at an angle of theta is equal to 21.8 degrees. This is force in AC. It is looking like method of joints problem. For the method of joints problem, sigma fx is equal to 0 minus 150 plus fac cos 21.8 is equal to 0. So FAC is equal to 150 by cos 21.8 kilonewtons, which is positive. So FAC is equal to the force in the like the tension force in number AC or cable AC is 161.5 kilonewtons. Okay, so we have considered a section. The length of each cable is obtained and slope is calculated. Now, similarly, go to D. 
go to D. Consider a section at D. Consider a section at D. Consider a section at D. Now your suspension bridges. This is C, which is from D killer button. D is 20 kilometers. So this is also 20 kilometers. So wait a second. We are considering section D, right? Then why should we draw all these things? No need. To. Nothing is required. Only you have to consider up to D only. That's it. So this is Y D. This distance is two meters. This distance is two meters. This is A. A force of V A is acting. A force of H is also acting, which is one fifty kilonewton, and this is sixty kilonewtons. Now. Taking moment about to D, sigma m about D is equal to 0 plus 60 into 4 minus 150 into yd minus 20 into 2 is equal to 0. Tell me the value of yd here. How much? Please uh, type in the chat box. Yeah, I know some people they are facing network issues, but uh, you can type in the chat box. 1.33, sir. 1.33. Yes. So this YD is 1.33 meters. So YD is 1.33 meters. Now what is YC you got? How much you got YC? 0 0.8. So 0 0.8 is your YC. So what is this distance? This will be 0.53 meters. This is 0.5 meters. Now this is 2 meters length. LCD is equal to length CD is equal to square root of 2 square plus 0.53 square. Two point zero seven. Two zero seven meters. So the length is two point zero seven meters. I want to draw, so here just understand, wherever you want the force in CD, now I will go to the free wall diagram at C. In the previous one, I have drawn the free wall diagram at A, when I want AC member force. So if I want to know what is the CD force, why I am unable to take free wall diagram at D is, at D how many forces are there? Here your cable force is there, below cable force is there, two unknown downward 20 kilo load is acting. Yes, we can also take uh, FCD also, but we have to use equilibrium equations and we have to solve it. But however, if you go to free word diagram at C, free word diagram at C, 20 kilonewtons. So before completing this, we should know first of all what is the angle that is made here. Theta 1. So tan theta 1 is equal to 0.53 by 2. What is theta 1 value? Two 
So theta one is fourteen point eight four degrees tan theta one. Now I want uh, the free body diagram here. So for this, this is making an angle of what is this angle? Twenty one something and the twenty one point eight degrees. Which is force in AC. This is fourteen point eight four FCD. So just write down sigma FX is equal to zero minus FAC cos twenty one point eight plus FCD. Cos 14.84 is equal to 0. You have just resolved the forces in this direction, in this direction, and remaining all the others. There are no external forces along x axis. So, here in the previous step, you got FAC value, force in AC. What is force in AC? 161.5. So, 161.5. So FCD value can be obtained. One fifty five point one seven. One fifty. One fifty five sir. One fifty five point. One seven. So FCD is the tension force. The tension force in the cable is one fifty five point one seven kilonewtons. Now this purpose is over. Now go to joint D. Now consider a section at E. Consider a section. Now we are writing free body diagram. Sorry. Before free body diagram, we have to consider a section. Wait a second here. Uh, we need not consider the section why right? because already the central dip is 1.6 meters so coming to the diagram a c d so for this the angle is 21.8 degrees uh, this the angle is 14.84 degrees. Now, at D to E, another member is also moving. So, this is called as 1.6 meters. What is this angle as well as what is this distance? Yd, what is the value of Yd? Yd value is 1.33 meters. So this is 1.33 meters. This distance is nothing but 1.6 minus 1.33, which is called as a, the ordinate here. How much? 0 0.27. 0 0.27 meters. 1.6 minus 1.33. 0 0.27 meters. Here, the forces are acting. But I don't bother about these forces. This length is 2 meters. The height is 0.27 meters. So length of DE is equal to square root of 2 square plus 0.27 square. What is the value? Two point zero one zero two sir. 0.2 meters. 
So length LDE is calculated. This LDE as the cable is symmetrical, right now. Okay, before completing this, we need to calculate the uh, force in DE, right? Force in DE is to be calculated and the slope is to be calculated. So first uh, slope. So this we call it as theta, this is theta one, this is theta two. So slope tan theta two is equal to, so tan theta two is nothing but 0.27 by 2. So tell me the value of theta 2. The 1.67. 11.67 degrees. 7. 7 point, okay. Yeah, 2.018, we can write it as 2.02 meters and tan theta is 7.67 degrees. So tan theta 2 is obtained. Now we are calculating what is the force in member DE. So consider free body diagram at D. Free body diagram at D. So at this one, a force is going here which is force in CD. So the force in D and here 20 kilonewton force So this angle is, what is this angle? 7.67 degrees. What is this angle? 14.84 degrees. Now I want what is the force in DE? Force in DE is to be calculated. So to calculate force in DE, sigma fx is equal to zero. Now what is the value here? Sigma minus FCD cos 14.84 plus FDE cos 7.67 is equal to 0. So here FCD value, force in CD, did we calculate FCD 155.17? So substitute that minus 155.17 into cos 14.84 plus FDE cos 7.67 is equal to zero. So FDE is equal to, what is the value of FDE? 151.34. 151.34. One I didn't get the exact answer. It's better if you, 151.3, right. 151.3 kilometers. So now forces are calculated here. This force is nothing but tension force only. We are considering it as positive as it is tension force. Please remember the force in FAC is equal to force in FBH. 
और एच बी फोर्स इन सी डी इज इक्वल टू फोर्स इन जी एच फोर्स इन डी इज इक्वल टू फोर्स इन एफ जी जो टू सिमेट्रिकल बिहेवियर नाउ वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट वट इज अ फोर्स इन ई जी वट इज अंग सॉरी एफ वट इज अंग Can anyone of you tell me what is the length of this EF? Two meters, sir. Two meters. Why? Because it is horizontal. It is two meters. It is two meters. Now the force in EF is to be calculated. To get the force in EF, now you need not consider a section. Why? Because the dip is already one point six meters. So we need to calculate what is the force in EF. So to calculate force in EF, right on. To calculate force in EF, take FBD H E force in EF. Force in D E this is twenty kilonewtons load is acting. So this point is E. What is the angle this D E is making? D E is making angle of seven point six seven with horizontal. So this is seven point six seven degrees. Now sigma F X is equal to zero minus F D E cos seven point six seven. Plus F E F is equal to zero. So what is the force in E F? One forty nine point nine. So that is around one fifty. One fifty kilometers. Right. So the force in E F is also calculated. You know. So what is our requirement? Your requirement is to write down the forces. Now go back to the question. The tension in the cable segments. The tension in the cable segments. We calculated what is the force in AC. Can anyone of you tell me what is the force in AC? What is force in CD? One fifty-five point one seven kilonewtons. One fifty-five point one seven. Yes, D E. One fifty one point three kilonewtons. One fifty one point three kilonewtons. Yes, E F. One fifty kilonewtons. Where F E D there is F G force in D uh, F G is equal to force in D E, which is one fifty one point three kilonewtons. Force in Hg or Gh is equal to this force is equal to force in CD, which is one fifty five point one seven kilonewton due to symmetrical behavior. These things are happening. So this is the overall forces, tension forces that are acting in the cable. Now, length of the cable, length of the cable. What is length AC? Length L. 
CD plus LDE plus LEF plus length into FG plus LGH plus LHB is equal to so LAC how much you got 2 point 2.15 meters 2.15 meters plus LCD 2.07 meters so 2.07 meters 2.07 LDE 2.02 meters plus 2 LEF is 2 plus 2.02 plus 2.07 plus 2.15 is equal to what is the overall length? Is it correct or not? Just check it. Check it. Sir, fourteen point four is correct. Fourteen point four eight meters. So overall length of the cable is fourteen point four eight meters. Now third point is cross sectional area of the cable required if the maximum stress in the cable is not to exceed one fifty MPa. In the entire given forces. F A C is maximum, which is 161.5 kN. So that for this one cross sectional area is 161.5 into 10 cube maximum tensile force by the safe permissible stress. And this is 150, you will get the cross sectional area. What is the cross sectional area value in mm square? One zero seven six. How much? One zero seven six point six seven. Right. Okay, what are the value you got? You please write down that. So this is the cross section area for a suspension bridge. Now to the next problem. A symmetrical, a symmetrical more than the next problem. A symmetrical. Unstiffened suspension cable is parabolic in shape and has a span of 
300 meters. Dp is 30 meters. UDL. UDL to be supported is. Twenty kilonewton per meter. Determine the length of the cable and the area of the cable. If maximum allowable stress is one fifty newton per m square, so a cable is given like this, which is having parabolic in shape. The span is three hundred meters. In this one, 30 meters deep is there. Now, this is our VA, VB, and the hardware force of H is acting. So, now it is given that it is being loaded with a UDL of intensity. A UDL of intensity. 20 kilometer per meter. Twenty kilometer per meter. So this is the unit that is acting. Now the first step, first of all, what they are asking, they are asking to calculate what is the length of the cable. So as per uh, parabolic shape, what is the formula for length of the shape? Ls is equal to L plus 8 d square by 3L. Remember this formula. Ls length of the cable, the suspension cable is equal to L is the span plus 8 d square. D is the dip, L is the span. So substitute here 300 plus 8 into 30 square by 3 into 300 so that is the entire length of the cable how much you got 308 sir so ls length of the member that is the suspension cable is to be provided for a length of 308 meters. Now the area of the cross section is required. To get the area of the cross section, you require maximum load by cross sectional area. The maximum load by permissible stress, parallel stress. So here maximum tension. Maximum tension force occurs at support remember this always maximum tension force occurs at support so the tension force t is nothing but square root of va square plus h square that's h so this is your tension force which is V A square plus H square. So for a parabola, V A value with a U D L is W L by two whole square plus. What is the horizontal force? We have written the formula for H W L square by 8d 
also right. Is it right or wrong? If it is wrong, just tell me what is the value, which value. So H is W L squared by 8D. You know the values of this, substitute them and you will get the maximum tension force. So square root of W is 20, L is 300 by 2 whole square plus 20 into 300 square by 8 into 30 whole square. So what is the tension force? What is the maximum tension for simple? We have used the formula that's it. 8077. 8077.74. Yes, okay, good, good. 807.74 kilo newtons. So, corresponding to this force. We need to calculate what is the area, area of the cross section, so area of the cable. T by 150, 150 is the for a maximum allowable stress, allowable stress, which is 8077.4 into 10 Q by 150. What is the area of the cable? So what is the value here? 538515 So the next problem is not on the next problem you can practice by yourself. Samir, you might have missed uh, multiplying with 1000. Why? Because it is kilonewtons. The force is in kilonewtons. So yeah, into, 10 into 10 cube. Yes, sir. All right. So next uh, problem, not on the problem. A cable is of uniform section. Not on the next problem. A cable is of uniform section. Is suspended between two supports 
100 meters apart. It carries and it carries UDL of 10 kilonewton per meter spread over the horizontal span. The lowest point of cable sags 10 meters below the supports. Find maximum and minimum tension in the cable and its inclination. Minimum required cross-sectional area of cable of the allowable stress is 280 MPa length of cable. So this is the three conditions which are to be calibrated. So that is dip is given which is 10 meters. A parabolic cable is there. The central dip is uh, 10 meters. Here maximum and minimum tension. Remember maximum tension is nothing but square root of Va square plus H square. This is our or Va or Vb. Anything is the same. This is H. This vertical force is Vb. So T max is nothing but square root of Va square plus H square. Whereas minimum tension is nothing but Va will become zero square root of h square that is nothing but minimum tension is nothing but uh, h so va is nothing but w l by 2 or pl by 2 w is nothing but you have written it as a 10 into span is 100 by 2 which is 500 kilonewtons va h is equal to W L square by 80 W or P, whatever the intensity, just uh, don't get confused with uh, the terminology. So that is 10 into 100 square by 8 into 10. So that will give you the horizontal force. Substitute here, this H is 1250 kilonewton. 500 square plus 1250 square that is the maximum tension value so just this will be round off I am just approximately writing down the value 1346.3 kilonewtons Minimum tension is uh, already said, which is H, which is 1250 kilonewtons. So, first part is completed. Minimum cross sectional area required is nothing but the cross sectional area is nothing but maximum tension force in the cable. Maximum tension force in the cable.
by allowable stress. So the concept is here area is equal to force by stress. Area is to be calculated here, which is 280 is allowable stress, maximum tensile stress is 3 into 10 Q. So cross-sectional area, you will get the cross-sectional area. What is the value? Four eight zero seven point one four. So the cross-sectional area is obtained. Now in the next step, we will see length of the cable. So length L S is nothing but this is a UDL with a parabolic shape. So L plus 8 D square by 3 L. L is length is 100 meters plus 8 into 10 square by 3 into 100. So 102.367 meters. 8 by 3 is 2.666 something. So 2.67 plus 100, 102.67 meters. So this is what they have asked in the question. So with this, I'm just stopping my class right now. You can practice the problems uh, till regarding the calculation of the length of the cable as well as uh, calculating the maximum and minimum tensile forces in the section. So today the date is 15. 0 2 to 121. Let me know all the numbers, then you can leave. Sir? Chibu. Cross section area 4808.21. Cross section area 48. 08.21. 4801.08. Uh, four Once again, please. Zero eight. Just type in the chat box. Anyone of you type in the chat box? 4808.21. Okay. 